Well, you've set me a challenge and a half today. We are compiling an A to Z of Bradford. So we're kicking it off this morning and I figured why not come to a home that we're very familiar with for starters because we used to have our own studio here. It's the National Media Museum, F for Film. We've also got the statue of J.B. Priestley. Now, I want to tick off a big fat J. Of course, we can't celebrate Bradford without talking about the Alhambra Theatre. And we're also going to check B as well, Liz. We've got someone who's here for a little chat with you. Going to talk about all about the world of pantomime. Indeed, we are the king of pantomime, the legend, Billy Pierce. Hey up, love. Now then, love, how are you? We're moving on now to N and M. And N, we are celebrating the giant needle. If you've seen this, it is a sculpture that when you see it, it is truly impressive. And the Midland Hotel, which is really, really close to the giant needle as well, we're celebrating that today because this is one of the iconic hotels here in the heart of Bradford. It's a little Germany now. So there you go, the letter L, we have ticked it off. So we're going to tick off C, a little bit of both here. It's Centenary Square, Centre uh, City Park as well. We're guessing that Dorothy by Hole is meaning the Westfield development. So we're going to go on a positive slant and say the Westfield development, one of the biggest sort of shopping developments in our area. So Richard, we've ticked off a W. I is for the Impressions Gallery. Promised you curry and I have not failed you. We are outside Karachi Restaurant. K for Karachi Restaurant. O for Odsall, otherwise known, of course, as the Providence Stadium. We're on to number 13 in our A to Z list here at the Richard Dunn Sports Centre in the heart of Bradford. I'm going to pass the baton on to Dara Corcoran. Welcome to E for Euroway. Just so we can get off to a good start, I'm going to quickly do D as well, which is department stores, the legendary Brown Muffs, Busby's, and in latter days, the Palace of Cheatness, as I used to call it, TJ Hughes. And S is Sunbridge Wells in a building now in Bradford City Centre. We're hoping to find the letter V. So, V is for volunteers. That's right. Bradford has more volunteers than anywhere else in the whole of Yorkshire. Now, the letter T. And we're outside the Bradford newspaper, The Telegraph and Argus. Got X for you. You've got X. Got it. There is a new development, and it's called Exchange. David Hockney Building. We've got hey. H in our A to Z of Bradford. Yeah. Well done. We've got P sorted here. Hoppadoms! That's the P sorted because there are so many brilliant curry houses around Bradford, would you not agree? We've been on the hunt for a U. I think we may have one. Right now, with us in the Carmen Centre, Sam Butterworth joins us, the Sports and Society's sabbatical officer for the University of Bradford. I'm outside George's Hall. Sorry, I'm just a bit out of range on the old microphone there. What a great uh, option for G. I've also found Y. Yasmin Samosas. So we've got Y there I mentioned, Johnny, and we've also got Q, which is a place I've never heard of, but it looks really nice. I've seen it as well on the internet, which is Queen's Hall. The A to Z of Bradford would not be complete without a Z. And here is, I reckon, a very good Z. It's a zip. Hey! Hey! 